Good morning, my dear students. I'm back again with another lesson of GK. So today we are going to do page 20 of our GK book, which has the topic Good Manners, Bad Manners. I'm sure you all know what good manners and bad manners are. Yes, using words like please, sorry, thank you, excuse me. These are all good manners. Isn't that so? And using bad words and behaving in a bad way. They are not good. They are bad manners. So let's learn a little bit about that. Okay? So first of all, I'm going to show you a small video. And then we will do the exercise in our book. Ready for it? Let's go. Good morning, Mummy. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, bright sun. It is such a lovely day. May I go out to play? I ask Mummy. Please have breakfast first. She replies. Thank you, Mummy. I tell her after eating my breakfast. May I help you wash the dishes? I ask her. Thank you, she answers. A few drops of water fall on her from a plate I am washing. I am sorry, Mummy. I tell her. She smiles. Bye-bye. I wave to her as I go out to play. Bye-bye. She waves back and says, have a nice time. Look, here comes my friend Nisha. Hello Nisha, will you play with me? Please excuse me, she says. I have to go shopping with my father. I see Ravi and Rocky. Hello Ravi, hello Rocky, will you play with me? Yes, we will, they reply. We play in the park. Yippee! What fun we have! Hello, good morning. Please, thank you. Sorry, excuse me. Many nice words I can say to you to make you feel nice. Did you learn from this video? Yes, so we all have to observe good manners and become good babies, right? Okay, so let's start with our work in the GK book. Take out your GK books and open page number 20. So have you opened page 20 of your GK book with this heading? Good manners, bad manners. Okay. So, we start by writing down the date. So, what is the date today? It is 4.8.2020. 4th of August. So, let's write down on the left corner of the page. 4.8 dot twenty twenty like this done so let's start with the exercise now choose the correct word or words from the help box to complete the statement so this blue colored box is the help box which has the words sorry Please, excuse me and thank you. So, should we start? So, the first sentence is, When you are asking for something, you should say dash. So, what should we say when we are asking for something? 
yes we should say please please may i have this copy please may i have this biscuit to eat yes we say please so we will write please in the first blank you can copy the spellings from this help box also okay p l e a s e please done now we move to the second sentence when someone gives you something you should say what should we say when somebody gives us something we should say thank you yes thank you so let's write down thank you t h t h a n k thank y o u u thank you done okay let's move to the third sentence when you drop something or break something by mistake you should say sorry yes you should say sorry i'm sorry i broke this thing but i it happened by mistake okay so let's write down sorry s o double r y sorry done okay so so we do the fourth sentence now when you want someone's attention you should say we should say excuse me yes that's right excuse me may i talk to you yes so we will write this excuse me in the fourth blank like this e x c u s e excuse m e m e now let's do the second exercise look at the pictures given below draw a smiley for the picture showing good manners and show draw a frowning face for the picture showing bad manners so if, if it's a good manner we'll see a, draw a face which has a smile like this yes and if it's a bad manner we will see draw the face frowning like this got it okay so let's start with the first sentence now you always wash your hands before having your meal when we have a meal do we wash our hands yes that's a good habit that's a good manner so in the circle provided near this picture over here we are going to draw a smiley face okay so here are the eyes and here is the smiling face done good so let's read the second sentence now you play basketball inside the house is basketball played inside the house look this way this girl is playing basketball inside the house and she is breaking all the things in the house like this vase so is it a good thing no it's a bad manner so we are going to draw frowning face look the eyes and the lips are turned downwards into a frown like this okay done okay so let's move to the third sentence now 
you share toys with your friends look these children are sharing toys with each other so that's a good manner na they both are so happy in sharing so we are going to draw smiley the eyes and the smiling lips yes it's a good manner so now we turn to the fourth and the last one you keep your room untidy untidy means throwing all the things around the room like the toys the clothes they all thrown around the room and they are making the room untidy so is it a good habit a good manner or a bad manner oh it's a bad bad thing so we are going to draw a frowning face like this the eyes and the lips turn down into a frown done great good job so will you remember this lesson on good manners and bad manners nice so that's all for now till we meet again bye bye